So today we're going to make this turn into this. Stay tuned to see how I've done it. Listen to the old pork chop express and take his advice on a dark and stormy night, all right? When some wild eyed eight foot tall maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favorite head up against a barroom wall, and he looks you crooked in the eye and he asks you if you've paid your dues. Well, you just stare that big sucker right back in the eye and you remember what old Jack Burton always says at a time like that. Have you paid your dues, Jack? Yes, sir, the check is in the mail. boy something big's happening today what could it be so this is actually pretty exciting whatever could be in this box I don't know but let's open it up and see could it be a new sump Yes, it is! A new sump here at Cue Balls Reef. Wow. Look at this packaging. I like it. This is the Bash C. From saltwateraquarium.com. Perfect packaging. I really like this. Wow, they went all out. A lot of mark on it. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what it looks like, shall we? So the first thing I'm noticing here, very well packaged. There was a ton of styrofoam in here, kind of holding everything in place. Um, the entire sump is wrapped with paper, which is nice all the way around wrapped in paper and on the inside here everything's nice and neat tucked in and well packaged I can't wait to get all this paper off to see what we actually look like here but this is the 48 by 15 by 16 sump Looks like we've got some probe holders, some dosing tube holders, some cord wrangling, three drains, three four inch filter socks, adjustable baffles. Yeah, this is nice. This will do just fine. So, what do we have in the package here? Something bubble wrapped. This is parts for the baffles. Now that we got that all unwrapped, so we got a nice lid here for the sock section. That'll come in handy. And then your baffles that are fully adjustable from the looks of it one and two one for the middle section and one for this end filtration and in the end there it looks like you got some coarse plasticky oh yeah that's just straight up plastic all right well that'll be nice to collect some bacteria on 
These are one and a half inch pipes. So we'll have to do a little conversion with that to get it to the one inch pipes that I have on the tank. All right, voiceover guy here. So first things first, when putting this new sump in, we had to take apart the old sump. So some video here of me getting all the equipment out of the way and trying to decide exactly how I'm gonna tackle this because it was just me by myself. So got the skimmer out of the way, getting the old plumbing and the UV sterilizer out of the way. And yeah, just working step by step to get rid of the old plumbing and get the old sump out of the way. So here we are, done. All the plumbing cut, tucked away, and gone. This is the stand after all that was done. You can see I got a lot of cable management to do, which is really the worst part of everything. But as you'll see in the end of the video, mission accomplished. Oops, forgot to record putting this first pipe in, but I did find some actual footage, and uh, yeah, here's a quick look. Gotta fix that too! Much better! Oh, and uh, watch your head, Mac! Phew! Don't you ever flush! In all serious, though. Plumbing, I thought I had it recorded, but I did not. Um, that's the game you play, I guess, when you're making these videos. But here you can see all the plumbing's done, uh, the tank's in place, I got the skimmer back in, and uh, now it's time to give it a quick little fill, and make sure things are working right. So here I am just uh, filling the tank up with some fresh salt water. Um, kind of did a mini water change whenever I took the old sump out and putting this new sump in. The new sump holds about 50 gallons total, but obviously I'm not going to fill it all the way. I think I put about 40 gallons in there and that helped equalize it out. And this is what it looks like when it's all filled up. Um, still have a ton of cable management to go but baby steps. And here we have the finished product. So it's been about two weeks <clears throat> that I've had the new sump in place. Things are working out great. I got my BRS canister going back again, uh, just running carbon and poly filter pad to help polish the water. I have my UV installed and working fine. This is a uh, ice cap 40 watt. The sump itself, I'm loving the way this thing is working. Uh, everything in here is pretty much dead quiet. It's got the three returns, uh, three four inch filter socks, my big, my big skimmer actually is taking up very little room in this thing, but uh, getting some nice, I'm running it a little wet because my nitrates were pretty high, so that's a look at the skimmer section. Then over here in the refugium, got a nice Kato ball going there. I also threw some red 
I don't even know what it's called, but it's red macroalgae. And then added some Seachem Matrix to the bottom just for more filter media. And in the last chamber is my return with a piece of PVC pipe in there that I forgot to get out before I shot this video, but oh well. And then in the back chamber there I have another JBO pump running my manifold. And the manifold is running the UV and the BRS canisters. And then as far as cable management, this is the best I could do. And compared to what it used to look like, <laughs> I would say this is a win. Uh, I got a lot more room in here now to keep some supplies. This is my two part that I used to dose. I have my magnesium that I dose. But all the cables get nicely tucked away with the cable wrangling system that they built into the sump itself. So I can't even begin to describe how ecstatic I am about the way this looks and how much better I feel now that it's done because I can actually get into the sump to do maintenance. Uh, if I needed to clean anything, if I needed to fish something out, it's there's so much more room in my stand now. Um, now that I got that really tall 55 gallon tank out of the way. So yeah, I am beyond ecstatic about this. Now I just got to put the facing back on my stand and uh, this thing will be just about complete the way I wanted it. So, but that's a look at how I uh, got this new sump. So thanks for watching my video. As always, if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Leave any comments below. I try to respond to every comment that I get. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Rob here at Q-Balls Reef, and I'll catch you on the next one.